Welcome to Fashion News Live, the ultimate showcase of the greatest cities coast to coast. Show me some pieces that define your story. What are your signature traits here? God, you hit like a girl. Can I talk to you for like five seconds for Fashion News Live? I want to ask you exactly what you're wearing today. the end of week eight so it's the two month mark today we are getting um, measured our inches to see how many inches we've lost in the past month we're going to get our body fat percentage taken and also weigh in so today is kind of a big day because we only have one month left in this whole competition you know I just like all smiles today so um, I really don't have any problems with the girls right now but you know in due time they'll end up pissing me off so <laughs> Once they do, there's going to be hell to pay because I'm in a good mood and no one can break this mood. So let's see what happens in the rest of the weeks. Okay, go ahead and step off. Okay, let's go ahead and lift up right here. Okay, wow, boy, that's looking a lot better, man. But I know Roya said she lost like six pounds this morning and I heard her screaming with Jonathan when she got on the scale that the scale wasn't right and automatically it changed like 20, ma 20 minutes later and she gained like five pounds. So um, Jonathan said he thought someone was lying about their weight in last week and actually lost, said they lost more than they really did. And I think he was talking about her because I lost three pounds and I couldn't fool that. She said she lost like six, so I guess she's lying. And I thought she was gonna lose a lot more weight this week because she's pretty much starving herself. She's been eating nothing but almonds and protein pudding and cottage cheese. That's a healthy diet. Been our steadily our most impressive person. 145 last week. Okay, you know we're. I shot for five pounds. I know you did, and that was just. I didn't really think that was feasible. Me but, too, but I kept that in my head. Yeah, I wanted you to keep that in your head. So let's see where you're at. Not bad, not bad. Very good. Honestly, this week I think I did really, really well. I worked out every day, um, even if I was like late to certain. Um, workouts and stuff with Jonathan and Raya and Jessica like I still worked out at home and I think I have um, I built my cardio a lot because I'm able to run like straight through like probably about 45 minutes on a treadmill and I've yet to see Jessica or Raya do that so I know that my stamina has built up a lot. Not bad. Not bad. Thanks. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Once again though a couple pounds. I could be doing better. You could. I know. You could be doing better. Well, I try to tighten up my diet. Remember, this is a contest. On, on one hand, I think it's good how you're losing weight. But on one hand, you could be doing better from a contest standpoint. You know what I mean? Ladies, as okay. you know, we are two-thirds of the way through. So I thought I'd give you a little bit of summary of what's occurred so far. The three of you since the beginning have lost over 80 pounds combined, which is really, really good. And inch-wise, you guys have lost a grand total of 63 and a half inches. Oh okay? We'll let Rocco, when he hands out the price, tell you who lost the most. So once again, here's an envelope of a location you're going to go to when you leave here. <laughs> and this is just going to spice things up, get your body to get shocked, and uh, it'll get us primed for that last month that we have to go, okay? Hey, how was your workout today at the gym? We didn't, we didn't work it out. What happened with Jonathan? He said he gave us an envelope and sent us here. What did he say exactly? Do you have your envelopes? Turn out. them in. He said turn to have in. fun and feel the burn. Okay, do you have the envelopes? Sweet. No. no. This is Heather. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey. She is a professional strip aerobics teacher. Yes. And today, all three of you will do strip aerobics. Now I had asked her if you have to take your clothes off, and she actually said yes. Whatever. I, <laughs> just go. you liar. Just no. Um. So. I can't do it. You can't do it. Why? I can't do it. It's against my culture and. It's like a gymnastics person, only the pole is in a different direction. I know, but I'm Persian, and I'm gonna have a lot of Persian families watching this, and this is not something that's expected of me to do. It's not It's not respectable. I'm sorry, I know. But you're not taking your clothes off. Whether clothes or not, it, it is a, a pole, and it does per se, you know, to a sexual kind of exercise kind of thing. You're doing so well in the program. 
why would you not want to participate? This is something that I just have to draw the line. I'm sorry. I mean, no respect, no oh, it disrespect out of you. Well, how about the it's fellow, just, fellow contestants, how do, Jessica and Danielle, how do you feel about that? I don't have a problem with it. I don't have a problem. Game on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've participated in a lot of other stuff, but this is just one thing I can't do. We don't even have music going. I know. I just, I, I feel... I feel weird about it. I feel it's like myself, my personal okay. reason, you know, that I can't, I just can't. But why? Give us a really good explanation because this is part of the, this is part of the show. I did. I am Persian and... Okay. I'm trying to understand because you, you're more of an American woman than a Persian woman and you're in America. I still have my Persian culture that I respect and this is not something that is known to, uh, it's not a respect, I'm sorry but it's not a respect. I have an idea. How about this? Why don't you participate to only what you feel comfortable in doing? Right. But please participate with your fellow contestants because it's only fair. Right, you did the martial art thing last week. It was cool. You like kicked through Hi -ya! all the wooden stuff, right? That's martial arts. Okay. This what I'm saying is, okay. <laughs> okay, what I'm saying is you don't have to take off any clothes. It doesn't right? matter. Nope, no clothes. Why, why don't you You're just, in your workout like, clothes. A it's a workout. Ball. Why don't you just start it and whatever move or technique she says and you don't feel comfortable just don't do it yeah just stop at that point yeah so at least you're participating because what are you gonna go home right now I'll or at least and stay watch. and encourage and support your other teammates I do that. I'll yeah. stay and encourage and I'll watch and we'll see what happens because I am still on a no <laughs> it's not the whole hold on Roy you belly dance at Persian restaurants you can't it's a, come it's here belly dance hold on why don't you belly dance on the pole then you be That's you go cool. to a you go to Persian restaurant. She goes to Persian restaurants and belly dances. And she always invites us out with her. Why can't she come in here? What's the difference? Belly dancing. Okay, so we, to our culture, okay, so this okay, is, I have not sexual. I have an idea. Belly dancing is not sexual. This is okay. I have an idea. We'll put you with no pole. How about that? No pole. They have a pole, and you do your Persian culture dancing. Oh, she's being so difficult. Your show. I'm not gonna push her. I'll leave it to you. Coming up next on Fashion News Live. Are you filming this? Yes, they're filming. Don't it. film this. This is none of anyone's business. Hi, I'm Mina Suvari, and you're watching Fashion News Live. I'm Nisi Nash from Reno 911, and you are tuning in to what? Fashion News Live. Oh! What? What happened? You say what one thing I... and you do another. Well, it's against my religion to do that. Then I find out, like, what have I said that? That you went out with them, religion. went to a strip club, and sat on people's laps and dropped it like it's hot. And if you're trying to get married, I don't think that's what you should be doing. Is that any of what I do on my personal? It was not personal. Life. It was with Whoa, Jessica, that is the host, not in this. Amanda. No, I'm sorry, but were we filming at the time? Does it matter? Okay, so it's not documented on film. Then I guess it just didn't happen. If a tree falls in the forest. It doesn't fall because it wasn't documented on camera. Do I need it's like my person? No, see, what I do I personally, what I do personally is my personal business. This I is don't personal. Need, I don't need millions or God knows how many of my Persian friends and their families are going to be watching this. I don't need them seeing me on pole dance or doing ridiculous bullshit like this. But it's okay if you go out to a strip club for the longest time. Again. They don't know that I do that. There's a quote. There's 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 a quote that says, like, oh God, I don't remember the quote. But something about character is what you do when people aren't looking, and this is a perfect example of that. Because when people aren't looking, she's like crazy, going to clubs, dancing on people, giving people lap dances. But then on camera, she acts like she's a freaking princess. Yeah, like a princess, like some Guy's innocent girl. Persian girl, and she's not. Okay. Are you filming this? Yes, they're filming. Don't it. film this. This is none of anyone's business. Listen to me. Turn it off. Turn it off. No. Rocco, turn it off. Why would I turn it off? You better turn it off because this is nobody's business. Really? Frankly, that to me, she wouldn't be on the show. Okay, we got Roya. She's a little bit upset, but we're going to take care of her. All right, so we're going to bring each of you on towel. We're going to put you over here and let's put you center and then you on the floor. Um, we're going to also do some additional stretching, so you're going to put your right arm onto the pole. You're going to turn all the way around to the left side and stretch it all the way across your pectoral muscles. Come on, go. One, two, three, hit, go. So let's just try to spin 
first and then we'll add the boa and the walk. Okay? Try and work it? Yes. And then All right. Do the like behind this. Do your left leg. You ready? Do it, girl. Ready? Da -da -da -da. You gotta make some music. <laughs> bottom, bottom, bottom. And you're watching the incredibly handsome Rocco on Fashion News Live. You're watching Fashion News Live. Right here at the Fashion Week, put in a special hip hop in style for Chris Air. Stay tuned. Hey! hey. Come on, Heather, really quick. So, 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 how the contestants do? They did a great job. Are they, are they going to be they professional? Were awesome. Are they going to be professional strippers no. now? Will our viewers see these girls in no, videos no. and stores okay, and near you? Rocco. No. All that's, right. a, that's up to them. <laughs> All right. Well, this week's winner, I hope they're not afraid of speed. All right. Are you guys ready? Afraid of speed? I know. This week's winner is Heather. Whose name is that? Who are you? Roya, no you way. won. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want to know what you won? Yeah, you I'm run. Just, I'm just happy because I won. <laughs> you want a hamburger at McDonald's? <laughs> no, I'm joking. You. you want a hamburger at the fast food restaurant? No. No, you actually run. You won the Richard Petty Experience to drive a Ooh, race car. Is, you're kidding no, me. No, seriously. Oh my God. I told all you girls the game is getting more intense. You all need to work. It's based on body percentage fat, not by weight. It's very important to keep up the regimen, listen to Jonathan, bust your butts, do as much as you can. And I did, and I did. And it was. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> Experience that I just had. It was so awesome. Oh my god, I had so much fun. <laughs>